So over 250 kilowatt hours total storage capacity with the whole system. The cooling liquid systems is here going there and every battery storage. It's really amazing to see you know, how elaborate just the cooling system is, but of course that goes to maintaining high performance and making sure that, you know, ma maintaining fire safety as well. Uh, integrated cooling, integrated fire suppression, uh, and all, you know, basically all, all pre-assembled pre into one ready to go product. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar Europe, which is, this is the largest solar conference in Europe, here in Munich, Germany. This morning I'm joined by Daniel Renner from Fox ESS, uh, and folks, the reason that we're here in Europe is because as the U.S. solar and storage market gets more mature, you're going to see more international companies, companies like Fox ESS that are already well established here in the European market, start to enter the U.S., because as you all know, in the US, pretty much everything's going towards battery storage. If you're gonna be doing solar, you're gonna be doing solar with battery storage. Now, Daniel, today we're looking at the, the CNI solution called GMAX. So tell us about GMAX. Yeah, welcome to the exhibition in Munich, and thank you that I can presentation our solution for the CNI and commercial market. Thank you. So you can see here a battery energy storage system for the CNI and commercial market, and we have for all your use cases the solution with this. So which use cases you bring for this? So we are, you can starting with uh, energy trading with this product, you can make peak shaving with this product, you can make grid yeah, stability, and this all, I think, the self-consumption optimizing. So these are the four big use cases where you have to make this product. When we open this product, then we can more see what is integration in this product. Great, well then, let's see inside. Okay. So what are we looking at here? These are uh, LFP storage? Yes, yes. Uh, so what we can see here, we have four battery packs. And these four battery packs, we can see his all safety with a good high material for the out packages, but we have integration at every packages, 16 high LFP battery cells, prismatic battery cells. So we have 16 prismatic battery cells in every packages and with two cells is integration one sensor, temperature sensor. So you have a two cells, one temperature sensor, then you have 30 temperature sensor. So there we have a really good control for the temperature. So we can every time monitoring the temperature and you can see on the monitoring the temperature and this is really good. So. Great, now, in terms of capacity, it looks like 54 kilowatt hours yes. per, per battery pack. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So what we have here, this is full including 250 kilowatt hours battery pack storage systems. Okay, so over 250 kilowatt hours total storage capacity with the whole system. Now what's down here? Yeah, this is what you can see. We have on this systems 100 kilowatt AC input and output. Okay, so, so is this the inverter here? Yeah, this is, the, this is the inverter. So the PCS, you have here the DC switch and here the AC breaker. You can hear AC input, yeah? Okay. And then you can see here why we have a liquid cooling systems. We have a storage with a really good liquid cooling systems. And for the liquid cooling systems, and is that what this is? Yes, okay. we want a heat pump. And this is integration. No. A heat pump. 
you can see there, this is a heat pump, yeah, with a special water and economic liquid. This going there, open door, integration to the storage. And so we have a really good cooling liquid systems for this battery storage. The cooling liquid systems is here going there in every battery storage. And we have directly, we have directly the contact from the liquid cooling with the cells. So you can have here a really good cooling system. So there we can say we have every time three grad Celsius temperature. And so this, this, this layer here, this is like a cooling yes. pad. This is and the then cooling the cells press, sit on top of the and cooling it's, pad. Uh, yes, yes, and then this, correctly. And then this circulates the, the fluid. Yes, the correctly, liquid, yeah. correctly. So with this good cooling systems, we can guarantee that we say, okay, the work cells temperature area is from minus 25 to 50, 50 uh, temperature high plus. Yeah, yeah, and of course, you know, with, with LFP battery cells, you know, making sure that the, the battery stays within a healthy temperature range is important to preserve battery life, uh, as well as, as for safety, right? We want to make sure that battery doesn't get, exactly, too, exactly. get too hot. So uh, it's, it's, it's really amazing to see, you know, how elaborate just the cooling system is. But of course, that goes to maintaining high performance and making sure that, you know, ma maintaining fire safety as well. Yes. So Daniel, I understand that this is being launched in the European market, but I'm being told that this will be available in the US market before the end of the year. So if you're looking for a larger scale CNI integrated solar and storage solution, the GMAX is one of those one of those options. Yeah. Nice. Nice to hear two years. Um, I think what we also have in the creation here, we have a fire protection. This has a really high fire protection for your safety. What we said to this, okay. Normally, the energy storage is safety, while we have really included high-end LFP battery cells. But when it's come the worst case, yeah, then we have integration, a really good high fire protection. You can also see on this side. And we have a, a lighting. When it's really coming to explosion in this area, then the alarm is coming for lighting and a signal, a loud signal. And then you can also have a signal from the integration EMS systems yeah, to your monitoring systems. So we have directly in two minutes, yeah, we can see then the signal on the monitoring and we can say, okay, now it's an alarm and the systems is going shut down, down in this moment. And when we see there, when we close them, we have here an emergency stop. And this emergency stop is also when you push in there, so the PCS on the ground is going down. Yes. Great, great. So folks, again, this is the GMAX. This is the all-in-one CNI solution, integrated solar and storage. 100 kilowatts output power, 250 kilowatt yes, hours of exactly. storage, uh, integrated cooling, integrated fire suppression, uh, and all, you know, basically all, all pre-assembled pre into one ready-to-go product. Yes. I have one point, but it's really interesting. So we are, we are open for all HEM systems, yeah? So we said, okay, when you have use cases and you bring a special EMS or HEM systems, then we are from the product management integration, other EMF systems for all your use cases. Great, great. Well, folks, this has been an introduction to the new Fox ESS GMAX. Uh, again, the reason why we're here at InterSolar in Europe is because many of the, uh, of the established international companies like Fox ESS, they've been long established in, in the European market. A lot of these companies are gonna be coming into the US market very soon. So although you may not have seen the name very, very often in the past, Fox is a name that you're going to be hearing a lot of in the near future. And of course, you know, we want to make sure that we're here at the conferences so that we can keep you all up to date with all the latest solar product and technology information. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, Daniel, thank you for spending more time with thank us. Thank you very much. Yep. Uh, and thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. But we're going to wrap this video up here. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered.
Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.